Hi, welcome to VAST. This is Travis, and today we are going to be using a VAST GPU to generate images using uh, stable diffusion models. So uh, VAST is a on-demand GPU platform. We have really good pricing uh, for 4090s and 3090s, which are great for running stable diffusion. So uh, this guide will show you how to set up, uh, to select and set up your template uh, load an instance, uh, get into the instance and load the web UI and generate images. So let's jump into it. So if you're new to VAST, you're gonna have to head over to the billing section and purchase credits. Everything is prepaid on VAST. And note that if your balance goes below zero, you will be charged uh, automatically to clear the balance. Uh, so make sure to destroy all your instances after you're done. So I'm gonna head over to the template section and I'm gonna select the AI doc automatic 11 web repo, which is right here. Uh, AI doc is a nice way to run this web UI and is one of our recommended templates. So to select it, just hit select and then it will um, be selected and send you into the search. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is allocate your storage, which you cannot do later. So I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, about 100 gigabytes of storage just so I have plenty. Automatic 11, well, and stable diffusion in general can only use one GPU. So we're gonna to wanna to filter for 1X instances. So here I'm looking through the results. Uh, the data centers are marked in blue. These are gonna be more reliable and uh, these machines are actually in a, a data center with some security. So I'm gonna go ahead and rent this one out of North Carolina. So once created, it's going to appear in my instances. I have a uh, inactive instance here, which is stored. And at any time you can hover over uh, the instance to see how much you're being billed. So uh, right now, as this is loading up, I'm only paying for storage, as you can see, I'm definitely not paying for the GPU time yet until it is loading. And now uh, after 36 seconds, it's loaded and it is connecting and trying to establish a connection to the AI dock. And once it's established that connection, the open is going to appear. So I'll go ahead and open that. AI dock is a nice uh, way to, to run this service. It has this little service portal that you can load. From here, you can load Jupyter, and then you can load Automatic 11. So the direct link um, is gonna ask you for a username and password, which is just user and password, which is also in the readme file of the template. And right now, it is updating Automatic 11.11. And so it's gonna take a little bit of time to get this loaded and ready. So uh, it's right now just giving us the log. And there we go, it takes about eight minutes to load. The main reason is that it downloaded three different models, which I will show once the interface loads. So this is the automatic 11.11 web UI. It is uh, already downloaded SDXL base, XDXL refiner, and then stable diffusion version 1.5 pruned. So there's three different models that you can run. You can generate a cowboy riding on Mars. I'm using SDXL and I can go ahead and reload these. I can switch over to stable diffusion version 1.5. It'll take a second to load the model into the GPU and then we can generate using that model. So there's obviously a lot that can be done with Automatic 11. It is a very powerful web UI. Uh, there are some very popular extensions that people like to run. This uh, version of Stable Diffusion that we're running Automatic 11 comes preloaded with uh, DForum, Dream Booth, and a few of the other kind of really popular extensions. So, um, but you can uh, download and install more and you can look at the GitHub of Automatic 1111 uh, to get more info on how to run uh, different extensions um, and checkpoints and things like that. This is just a real basic overview of how to get this set up and loaded. I will 
Now leave the automatic 11 web. I'm gonna go back to this and show you how you can upload a different checkpoint. Uh, so if you wanna, if you have a model that you've downloaded from a different website and you want to put it on here, you can uh, open up Jupyter, which will give you a, a way to browse files and you can head into workspace, stable diffusion web UI, um, and then you can find models, stable diffusion, and it says put stable diffusion checkpoints here. And so then you can upload uh, a file from your computer here. You can see the three models that are here. If you uh, can add another model into this file folder, it will then become an option uh, after you refresh here. That's basically how you can run Stable Diffusion and start generating uh, images and to run the different extensions of Automatic 11.11. Just remember to delete your instance uh, and totally destroy it after you're done. If you stop the instance, you still incur storage charges because of the storage that was allocated. Um, so once you're done with it, uh, unless you want to pause it and uh, try to, to run it again later, you can just destroy the instance. I hope that was helpful uh, so that you can kind of understand how to run Stable Diffusion on Fast. Thanks a lot.